25. Well, welcome back to the Women's Series, or welcome along if you are just switching over, having watched the afternoon session at the European Tour. Outside, Lisa's Some wonderful. Some big matches to come this evening in that one, none more so than Michael Van Gerwen against Gerwin Price. But I tell you what, the battle between Val and Sherrick and Lisa Ashton in this series of events 125. is as big as anything going on in the world of darts right now. A pair of them have shared the first four events. Sherrick is top of the order of merit, but they're on a collision course to meet in the final of today's tournament. And if Lisa can win the final, she will go top of the order of merit with one event left to play before somebody seals a place at the Grand Slam of Darts. But of course, we will not write off the two-time world champion Anastasia Dobromislova. She's playing Lisa in the semi-finals for the second time this weekend, having fallen to her in the very first event. Aston winning that and winning the first event of today. Can she do something she hasn't done ever at the Women's Series and win an event that isn't the first of the day? Well, Colin, Colin Lloyd, I and you are about to find out. Yes, like you say, Lisa can't look any further than this match. Tough opponent in Anastasia Dobromislova. But she looks like she's looks like she's up for it. 90. Tops left after twelve darts. Clinical. Moving through the gears. Well she was absolutely sensational in that quarter final win against Dieter Hedman. Fifty eight Lisa Ashton. She averaged hundred and four point three two in it. She takes the first leg of this one, and I can confirm that is the highest average we've ever seen at the Women's Series. 104.32 from Lisa Ashton in a 4-1 win against Dieter Hedman. Is it a case of, Chris, 95. yesterday Lisa was fantastic in the first event? 125. In chatting with her last night, she said she did feel a little bit tired. Today, she's already won the first event. And she seems like she's getting better and better as the day is going on. Well, Worrying signs for everybody else competing. She certainly knows what's at stake, doesn't she? And she can't afford to let Fallon Sherrick win another event and as good as seal that place at the Grand Slam. 60. Of course, what it does do for everybody else, for women who are wondering whether or not to enter the second half of women's series events it takes one of them out of the equation in that race doesn't it so it 54 I'd say enter it anyway yeah exactly you know opportunities await 60 if you wish to be go up going up and competing not only with these fabulous lady players but having the opportunity to compete up on the big stage the big big stage 41 when the gentlemen are also involved why would you not want to do it it's when you talk about Lisa Ashton trying to 95. carry on carry, trying to ride that wave which she was unable to do yesterday and pick up a second title in the day well, she did have a bit of a fight on her hands in the first two matches of this second event she beat both Rachel Brooks and Rihanna Sullivan by four legs to three 100. for a 4-2 win against Maggie Sutton and then that excellent performance that I mentioned against Dita Hedman where she put 20 points on her average and look at this 136 well, certainly if she did have a little bit of a lull she still managed to win the matches and now she's playing at the peak of her powers Oh, that's a disaster for Dobromislova. 71. I would like to have seen Anna's eyes then. Because was she split between going for the 11 or the 19? But it doesn't matter now because with that slip of not hitting the 11, Lisa Ashton has stepped up and punished and now takes a two leg to nil lead. 125. 2-0 to Lisa, 2-0 to Fallon. 
the stars are aligning once again Sherrick leads Lorraine Hyde and both players need three more legs to reach the final of the fifth event 24 well, there was a race between three in the shorter women's series set of events that we had in Barnsley last year it looks like a clear top two this time around Thirty-eight. And you know, plenty has been said about the achievements of Fallon Sherrick. We all know what she did in reaching that final and how she played in that final in Copenhagen last weekend. But Lisa Ashton has had some very big victories in her time on the Pro Tour, beating some of the top players, including the likes of Michael Smith. One hundred and twenty-three. Yeah, and those aren't gimmies. You have to earn them. 60. So Lisa's been able to put in performances like that. And we also know that Fallon has also. And that's why it's, it's always good when their two worlds collide. It sounds 41. a bit like the, the Rocky IV thing there, doesn't it? And the two worlds collide. It's Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren. 96. Well, it was almost uh, effectively a knockout blow there for Dobromislova. Ashton is just throwing all the punches in this match. Fifty-nine. Well, double ten now for Lisa Ashton to take a three-nil lead. Game shot. I'll say it again. Three-nil to Ashton. Three-nil to Sherrick. She's just taken the lead of three legs at almost the exact same time against Lorraine Hyde Lisa Ashton averaging around the 94-95 mark here unfortunately for Anastasia Dobromislova 140 she's quite finding it quite hard to keep with the pace we know certainly know she's capable of sticking with the pace but at this moment in time she's behind 3-0 and can't do a lot at the moment to 100. stop the juggernaut of Lisa Ashton roaring down the track if you just go on to win this event as well what a little run from the quarters 86. to the title playing Dieter Hedman Anastasia Doblomislova and then Fallon Sherrick in the final Don't even think that Gerwin Price or Peter Wright would fancy that run, would they? 140. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> 122. Joe, these two are absolutely caning that treble 20. 140 from Anastasia last time out. Lisa's had two two treble visits in this 55. leg she could move within a leg 97 good cover shot to make sure she left something small and forced more pressure onto her opponent but she is going to get a dart at least the ball's right it is the ball it's not in the ball and Ashton has the chance to lead 4-0. 48. Fabulous stuff from Lisa Ashton making light work and the matches have been played almost simultaneously because Fallon Sherrick has just taken a 4-0 lead as well against Lorraine Hyde. 180. Poor Anastasia probably just wants to shout out to everyone. Ladies, I don't know if you know this, but it is actually my birthday. Can someone start, you know, looking after me a bit better than what you are at this moment in time? 91. Very happy birthday to Anastasia Job from Maslova. 140. Well, we, we held our breath there, Murph, didn't we? We did, didn't dare say anything. 
until the six start had been thrown, but it actually deflected off the two in the treble 20. I think Anastasia would have appreciated that birthday present, Sixth. being treated to a front row seat of a nine dart finish. Hmm. 137. Well, this is remarkable stuff from Lisa Ashton. She's just averaged more than 104 in the last match against Dieter Hedman, the highest average we've seen on the women's series in two years. Now she's on for an 11 data to seal a 5 0 win against 85. a two time world champion. Game show. And that's exactly Lisa what she gets. A quite stunning display from Lisa Ashton, who goes 104 in the quarterfinals, 103 in the semi finals. Both of them dominant display. She sees off Anastasia Dobromislova. 5-0 to book her place in the final. Fallon Sherrick may well be her opponent in it, but she still has a little bit of work to do against Lorraine Hyde. She leads 4-1, so keep your eye on that one on tvdarkconnect.com and then return here for the final of the fifth event of the Women's Series in 2021.